Deathstroke pinned down Nightwing. In the oldest, dustiest corner of Bloodhaven, where even the rats wear hats and sunglasses to look cool, our hero Nightwing was swinging gracefully between buildings like a flying squirrel on a sugar rush. Suddenly, he stumbled upon two baddies aiming rifles at something or someone. Nightwing thought, this smells fishier than a catfish wearing perfume. He swooped in faster than a seagull diving for a dropped ice cream cone, ready to serve justice with a side of sass. But what he encountered wasn't the caped crusader himself, oh no, it was none other than Manbat. And let me tell you, this dude looked like he was having a bad hair day. Every day. After a quick scuffle, Nightwing managed to pin down the two trigger-happy thugs. They swore they were just shooting tranquilizers at Manbat, but Nightwing smelled lies thicker than Grandma's stew. Next stop, Manbat's crib. Nightwing found Mrs. Manbat, Francine Langstrom, who was crying more than a baby at a movie theater. She spilled the beans about her hubby's hairy situation, begging Nightwing to bring him back to the land of the normal. Promising to save the day, or night, in this case, Nightwing sprang into action. But first, he needed to pimp his ride with some stealth mode modifications. Can't be driving a Batmobile in broad daylight, right? Back at his crib, Nightwing bumped into Tad Ryerstad and had a chat with his landlord, Bridget Clancy. She kept inviting him for movie nights, but duty called louder than a fire alarm in a popcorn factory. Meanwhile, a giant dude popped up asking Bridget about renting a room. Dude was so big, he could have been mistaken for a skyscraper with legs. Hours of stakeout later, Nightwing spotted Man Bat on the move. Dude was hitting up all the seedy joints in town faster than a kid with a fake ID on prom night. Nightwing dove in like a bird of prey, ready to wrangle Manbat. But turns out, Manbat wasn't in the mood for hugs and high fives. A smack to the face sent Nightwing flying, holding onto Manbat for dear life like a rodeo cowboy on a bucking bronco. Just when Nightwing thought he had the upper hand, Deathstroke crashed the party like a wrecking ball with an attitude problem. Tranquilizers flew faster than gossip at a knitting circle, knocking both Nightwing and Manbat out cold. And just like that, Deathstroke snatched up Manbat, promising a VIP treatment in some secret lair. Nightwing was left scratching his head, wondering if he should have just stayed in bed that day. But hey, where's the fun in that? <laughs>